Okay, so today we are going to work on solving a proportion problem. And Caroline, real loud, what method do we use to solve proportion problems? Distribute the property. Wait. What? The one? The, okay, uh, Sarah, the one before distributed property. Cross multiply. We want to cross multiply first, so I'm going to use a different color real quick. And we want to cross multiply there. We want to cross multiply there. I have a question, Noah. Is cross multiplying the same as cross canceling? No! No, if you try to cross cancel here, you will get the problem wrong. So we have 7 times n minus 5, n minus 5 times 7. See how we built the Caroline? Distributed property. Nice. And then that equals 2 times n plus 8. Lil, am I still on camera? Yes. Cool. Okay, so, so from right here, um, we just need to do our little rainbow arrows, and we're going to speed through this, I don't know, whatever, 7s no minus 35. Please don't make fun of my star. That's rude. Plus 16. I mean, it's not really rude because it wasn't a real star. Uh, 7n minus 35 equals 2n plus 16. Uh, from here, it becomes the variables on both sides equation, which you could probably YouTube something different on that. But variables on both sides, we need all the variables on one side, and we need all the numbers on the other. So let's subtract 2n. Subtract 2n. We have 5n equals minus 35 equals 16. So I'm going to say that clearly this time. 5n minus 35 equals 16. Add 35 to both sides. Now we have 5n equals 51. And divide each side by 5. And equals that. 51. Six. If you want, you can make it a decimal for now. We're just leaving it as an improper fraction. And cut. Okay.